What's going on guys? Uh, real quick video here for Am I On The Air. Um, as Fox announced today that they are canceling Brooklyn Nine-Nine after five seasons, Last Man On Earth after four seasons, and The Mick after two seasons. And on top of that, Fox is also having issues with the Lethal Weapon TV series uh, as they have fired the actor that plays Riggs on the show, uh, Clayne Crawford. I usually don't do videos surrounding television, but you know, I figured why not, right? Let's, uh, let's talk about it because this one struck a chord today because these are all shows that I watch. Um, let's start with Brooklyn Nine-Nine. I, honest to God, think Brooklyn Nine-Nine is the funniest show that's on television right now. Easily, hands down, the most consistently funny TV show that is on. It's an ensemble show uh, revolving around the nine, 99th precinct in Brooklyn. And uh, Andy Samberg spearheads this show. Every single person in this ensemble is fantastic. Terry Crews, the captain, Gina, uh, the, everybody carries their role and, and just, I can't explain it, man, but every single week when I watch this show, I have a grin on my face for 22 minutes taking out commercials uh, and just have a great time. I watch a lot of sitcoms. I watch a lot of these little half hour uh, comedy sitcoms and in the end result, there's a lot of good ones out there. There's a lot of bad ones out there, but they're very inconsistent. Sometimes a show is super hilarious. Sometimes it's only certain episodes. There's only a handful of shows that are on the air that can consistently hold up and Brooklyn Nine-Nine is one of those shows so I was extremely bummed to find out that Fox had pulled the plug on it. Um, there is hope. Uh, Early Bird says that um, Hulu may be in negotiations to pick it up. I think Hulu would be the perfect spot to grab the rights to and actually continue the show into further seasons. Uh, they've done it before it's the glorious part of the internet. Uh, it was just canceled today, and then one of the top trending things on Twitter is Save Brooklyn Nine-Nine, hashtag Save B99, um, which I think is just great that, you know, the, the Twitterverse, the internet in itself is so big, so vibrant, and it gives us all a voice that when something stupid like this happens, we can all jump on and let Fox know right away we ain't having it. This was a mess up, and you shouldn't bring the show back. Um, so we'll see. Uh, other sources say that it's not only Hulu in the mix, that a couple other uh, people are interested uh, in picking it up. Now, you know, could it be another network? Could it be Netflix? Could it be Crackle? I mean, who knows? Um, I do think Hulu's the best spot for it, though, so my fingers are crossed. Um, if you've never seen Brooklyn Nine-Nine, Now's your chance, man. Jump into it. It has been five seasons. The show is hilarious and you won't regret it. Um, the other show, Last Man on Earth, canceled after four seasons. Will Forte came out with this quirky little show a couple years ago where he literally was the last man on Earth. There was a plague, some kind of virus hit, and pretty much all of humanity died. Um, so he was all alone and he was just searching, driving around, hoping to maybe find life. Uh, as the seasons went on, he wa he found out he wasn't the last man on Earth and there was some other survivors out there. And the show has grown quite a bit over the past couple of years. But once again, this is a very smart, very quirky, uh, very funny, very consistently funny show. One of the best that's out there today. And um, the season finale just aired last Sunday and it ended on a very big cliffhanger. And I said to myself, man... I hope this show gets renewed because if it gets canceled, this sucks. And here we are, the show got canceled. So this cliffhanger ending, what happened? What What's going on? What's going to happen? We'll never find out and it's very, very unfortunate. So uh, thank you to Will Forte. Thank you for the whole cast and crew for four amazing seasons. I love Last Man on Earth. Uh, if this one could get picked up and saved by somebody, that would be great as well. I know not every show that gets canceled can be saved, but hey, one can wish, right? 
the other show I mentioned is The Mick. This is the show uh, starring Caitlin Olsen from uh, Always Sunny in Philadelphia, right? She came out with this show last year, and um, it was pretty funny, man. Basically, she is a deadbeat, <laughs> uh, likes to use people, she's broke, she doesn't have a job, um, and her sister is actually really rich, and uh, her sister and her husband end up going to jail um, for some sort of like tax evasion or something. So she goes to watch their kids, and now she gets to live in the plush mansion, and uh, but now she's got to deal with uh, three kids that are pretty horrific to deal with. So um, it's pretty funny. It got a second season. The second season is either just finished or it's just wrapping up. Um, but it's pretty funny. It's a, it's a pretty funny show uh, that gets quite edgy at times for being a Fox comedy sitcom. Um, this is my least one, though, when it comes to me caring. <laughs> um, you know, I do like the show a lot. But, you know, in the end of the day, I can deal with the Mick getting canceled. Um, it's really Last Man on Earth in Brooklyn Nine-Nine that just... Gets me in the heartache, man. Gets me in the heartstrings. Uh, pisses me off, quite frankly. Um, but then let's talk um, Lethal Weapon. So Lethal Weapon, of course, is the TV version of the Mel Gibson, Danny Glover movie series, right? Came out last year um, with Clay Crawford as Riggs and Marlon Wayans as Murtaugh. And... Um, I was like, I don't know, man, Lethal Weapon as a TV show. Most of these movies that are being adapted to TV shows suck. Um, but I gave it a chance, and I'll tell you, Lethal Weapon is pretty damn badass. It really, really is. It's got great action. It's funny. Um, it has heart. It just really is that kind of series that just has everything going for it. Um, so I love it. And now the second season is on, and it's great as well. Until we find out about a week ago that Mr. Clayne Crawford, uh, playing Riggs, um, has been having some on-set issues. And uh, there was a couple things that happened on set. He apologized. And all of a sudden, Fox has basically kicked him off the show. Um, he's done. He's out of there. And um, we're left in a very weird spot now because the show does not have a decision on whether it's going to be renewed or canceled. Um, supposedly Fox is on the lookout to replace him and they're searching for actors to take his spot. Here's the problem though, man. I think most of us, even as fans of the show, don't want anybody else to come into the show and try to take his spot. Uh, just being honest, after two seasons, this guy is Riggs. And if all of a sudden I turn this show on next September and... Joe Blow pops up and he's like, hey Murtaugh, what's going on? I'm just going to have a hard time believing it. Um, you know, I, I'm not, you know, shows have missed, they've recast before, um, but it never quite vibes. Remember Fresh Prince when all of a sudden there was a different Aunt Viv? Um, but, the, you know, and a lot of times when they recast its side characters, this is your main dude on the show. One of your co-leads. Um, I just don't know how you go in and replace him. Um, so if I go with that thought logic, it leads me to believe one thing's going to happen, and that Fox is going to end up canceling the show. So therefore, I would have Brooklyn Nine-Nine, Last Man on Earth, The Mick, and Lethal Weapon that I would be losing from Fox. So, you know, Fox has this tendency to put shows out and pull the plug pretty damn quick. There's been a lot of shows over the years that we've really, really liked and tried to get into, and they just yank out from underneath you, and you're like, what the hell, man? You know, I mean, I have friends that won't even start to get into Fox shows until they're on a second season because they don't want to risk it. And I've always kind of laughed at that, but now I'm starting to feel their pain and I start to see where they're kind of coming from. Um, you know, I watch a lot of shows. I try to keep up on all these different shows so I could report on them and talk about them and review them, you know, on the podcast, on Stardust, so forth. And, um... You know, so when I really attach to a show, it, it sucks to get the rug pulled out from underneath you. Uh, like I said, Brooklyn Nine-Nine is, is the biggest gut punch. It is, hands down, 
my favorite comedy sh sitcom that is out today. Um, so that is the worst cancellation for me. Uh, we've been hit with some big ones this year. I mean, Ash vs. Evil Dead is a great show, and it just got pulled a couple weeks ago. Um, and we're about to find out about some other shows here in the next couple weeks uh, of what's coming and going as the upfronts uh, get ready to be announced. So um, that's all I'm going to take the time for. This wasn't meant to really, you know, be this big, crazy stretch out. I just, it's been on my mind today since the article popped up. And it just makes me want to say, what the F, Fox, why would you do this? Um, you know, put some thought into it. You know, Brooklyn Nine-Nine, like I said once again, uh, last thoughts. It's just, it's such a diverse show. I mean, you, you have a gay captain, uh, a person of color. You have, a, you know, a, a bisexual chick on the team. Um, you got white guys. You got, you know... Uh, <laughs> you got weird guys, you got bi guys, you got, you know, great celebrity cameos, Craig Robinson every time he shows up. Um, it is just one of the most diverse shows that's on television and really always seems to, uh, you know, bring a top-notch episode every single week. And uh, so, yeah. So, come on, Hulu, jump in, save us, save B99. We'd really appreciate it. Um, Last Man on Earth, I love you. Uh, the Mick, it was nice to meet you. And Lethal Weapon, am I going to meet a new Riggs? Or are we going to say goodbye? We will find out. Uh, once again, guys, hey, if you're going to keep up with this, make sure you follow me on Twitter. Follow the show on Twitter at Am I on the Air. Uh, that's where you're always going to get the news right when it drops. And, of course, you can always listen to the podcast, amiontheair.com. Every week, we break down all the latest and greatest in entertainment news, TV, and movies. And this is where you'll find out more info right along with that. So, hey, thanks for listening to me rant a little bit about Fox and their sudden cancellations. Uh, we'll keep you posted on what goes next. So, thanks a lot, guys. Subscribe. Check us out. And until next time, peace.